Hello and welcome to another update video about XRP. We can currently see that the market is under some selling pressure that also affects XRP. It's actually in line with our primary scenario for XRP, which is this white scenario, the white wave count in which XRP experiences a bit of a sell off here. Um, and that could continue obviously with um, XRP potentially moving in an ending diagonal in this C wave. So you see the price action basically since yeah, June 23, June last year. Um, what really counts is I think that this rally was only a three wave rally, which peaked in July last year. And because it was only a three wave rally, we can only label it either as an A wave or a wave W in a larger correction because the move down afterwards is also corrective. So it's likely only like the first wave in a corrective pattern. For me, it makes sense to label it, okay, either as an A wave and then this is now a B wave or as a W and this is an X wave. It doesn't make a great difference. Um, that's more determined by the big picture. And um, that will take a while to work out anyway. If you take a look at this, I mean, this has been, this entire corrective pattern has been in the works since, yeah, I mean, since this top there in July last year. So, um, long time, half a year now. And we already see that in an initial decline, this was also a three wave move down. A, B, C. Okay, so for me, that's an A wave. I think we've always had it as an A wave. Um, the rally here as a B wave, yeah. also only a three wave. Again, remember what I highlighted to you like many, many weeks ago, XRP likes to avoid five wave patterns. We were tracking at the time the potential for another high here. That would have allowed XRP to form a diagonal pattern. One, two, three, four, five. It clearly failed. So it remained only a three wave move. I gave you a warning at the time, some of you will remember, in which I highlighted XRP. You know, as long as support is holding, we can track that five wave move. But XRP has, in the last few years, not produced any five wave movements that are really noticeable and relevant. So it would be a bit of a phase change on this chart if XRP finally decides to put a five wave move in. That would be, that's what we want to track because knowing that XRP has provided five waves or formed five waves would be definitely an edge in the market, but there were no five. So we continue to track ongoing corrective structures. The idea is that it peaked here in a B wave and we're now moving down, but the move down is also not clearly impulsive. So it could only be um, if it forms if it forms now five waves down in a larger ABC structure. So in a larger three waves of uh, three wave move, then this C wave can only be a diagonal. Again, cannot be an impulse. So it it's a complete mess. So all of this, what what does it mean for a trader? Well, it means just be on the side of caution. If we don't have clear impulsive structures or even five wave movements, then it's difficult. Yeah? Moving within a correction means best is to focus on the bigger picture, um, which I showed you in the last video. But even in the bigger picture, XRP is just moving in a huge sideways range. I mean, this chart is great for range traders. It's not so much for trend traders and most people that I know at least, and I know a lot of people who are interested in, in crypto videos and, and technical analysis, because I see it in the comments, most people want to trade trends. Most people aren't really interested in the messy uh, sideways price action and range trading. So, you know, so it, it's not interesting, I think, for the majority of people. Um, we can still see here ongoing downside. And it seems like that in this C wave of an X wave, which again is part of a larger correction, we are moving in wave C of three, okay? And then we should still get a four and five. This would be, this is what we track to get an understanding of when this X wave might be finished. It has more room to go, but it takes a break below that trend line, a decisive break of the trend line to really suggest that this white count is clearly in control. Um, it's, um, at the moment, it's my, my working count. It's the leading count for me. But we also need to mention that, um, what did I say? XRP likes to move in three wave structures. So it wouldn't be a surprise to go for the alternative count, which is A wave down. That's the same in both scenarios, but that this B wave never finished. Instead, it was an A moving down in 
B, move up in C, testing that resistance area. And that B wave from here from November is actually moving over here. I see that as a likely alternative, a likely short-term bullish alternative. And the market could possibly target 70 to 80 cents in that scenario. To confirm this one, I would need to see a decisive break above. I need to see a decisive break above the um, descending trend line there. Yeah. Until then, basically the market is, you could say, in a holding pattern. But downside pressure today suggests it could follow here the pathway, the more direct pathway to the downside. But if it changes, then it would be ideally here in this spot. Okay, that's my update about XRP. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.